Traduttore, traditore. Roughly translated from Italian, it means every translation is an act of betrayal. What might that mean then for the Bible, the most translated book of all time? Ever since the 3rd century BCE, when the Torah was translated into Greek, meanings have been lost and words have been outright changed. After its translation into Latin some 600 years later, and then into every other language under the sun, it was only a matter of time before a serious corruption would find its way into the text. This is a video about the betrayal of the most important human story of all, the Garden of Eden, and how a fundamental mistranslation changed the way we view religion forever. Here's the Mensch Sense take. Pop quiz. What fruit did Adam and Eve eat? If you said apple, you would be incorrect. In one of many examples of biblical mistranslations, the original text doesn't actually specify what fruit it was. But the Latin term for any fleshy fruit with seeds is malum, which a later translator confused with an apple. While that might be a relatively harmless mistranslation, this next one is not. Ready for another quiz? What exactly did God command Adam in the garden? Most people would say that Adam was commanded not to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But again, this would be wrong, or at least significantly inaccurate. The original text is found in Genesis 2.16, and God commanded Adam, saying, From all the trees of the garden you... well, you what? According to almost every Christian translation, the end of the sentence ends with God saying, You may freely eat. In other words, God says that Adam is permitted to eat from all the fruits of the trees, and then continues by saying that you may not eat from the tree of knowledge. But is that what it says in the original Hebrew? I'll save you the suspense. No, it's not. The Hebrew says, Mikol eats hagan achol tochel. The literal translation of this is that God commands Adam, Of every tree of the garden you must surely eat. Then afterwards, he says, you cannot eat from the tree of knowledge. In other words, God was not permitting Adam to eat from the other trees of the garden. He was commanding him to eat. Just to spell out the significance of this mistranslation, consider that the very first commandment ever given to humans was not a prohibition. It was a binding obligation to go and enjoy the entire world. And here's why it matters. I think most of us associate religion with a structure that is primarily restrictive in nature. Religion tells us what we cannot do. In fact, the word religion comes from the Latin religio, meaning to bind back. If the entirety of God's interaction with the first human was simply telling Adam what he was not allowed to do, then it makes a lot of sense that we see our religion as a natural extension of that first commandment. But if, as the original Hebrew suggests, God's interaction with Adam is primarily to encourage him to explore and enjoy the vast array of pleasures of this world, then that changes how we understand religion altogether. True, the prohibition is still there in the Hebrew, but it's more of a cautionary tale than the driving thrust. It's as if your mother told you to go outside and play with your friends, but make sure that you obey traffic signs so you don't get run over. Obeying traffic signs is simply a useful aid in the pursuit of having fun. The same could be said about not eating from the one fruit in the garden that can kill you. Perhaps it's time to return to an earlier understanding of our relationship with God's commandments. They were designed primarily to encourage us to appreciate our magnificent world in the greatest way possible. While that requires some rules and restrictions, those only exist to ensure we stay safe in the pursuit of a fulfilling life. Translations are a tricky thing. Sometimes they help spread great ideas. Other times, translations can betray those very same ideas. Maybe it's time to rethink how we view religion. Maybe it's time to start eating from the rest of the trees of the garden. After all, it's a commandment. And that makes Mensch sense.